Hi, this is Frankie and I'm going to uh, show you what I've done for chess.com or what I've done to chess.com for my own screen. So let's uh, start. I managed to customize the, uh, the background and this time again, just like the one in the chess, uh, I've put in the animated background. So not just only that, not just that, but also the side panels um, are also customized with a similar uh, still image of this of similar hues. So let's just have a go at uh, a game here right now. Let's see how it um, how it plays out in uh, an actual game here. So let me just resize this a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to start by creating a custom game. So let's uh, make sure that it's unrated, just for fun. It's a little five minute game here. And for the chess pieces, I've selected the uh, glass glass pieces because they are, <laughs> they are translucent. So uh, if you observe the che checkerboard, uh, once again, the checkerboard is also translucent. So you can actually see the animation behind it. And this kind of works best for uh, for animated wallpaper or animated live wallpaper that doesn't have too much detail in the center. Otherwise your uh, translucent ch checkers squares will uh, show up too much detail and that would uh, defeat the purpose of having uh, clearly demarcated or clearly contrasted uh, squares. If there's too much visual noise then that would be off-putting for most uh, players but in this case here um, I I think I kind of like the, uh, the ocean effect I think it's soothing it's calming in fact the sun's rays radiating from the surface of the sea right down to the uh, base of the ocean if you can see there's a there's a base there probably sand it's quite uh, relaxing to me and uh, if you listen carefully, you can also hear the sound of the waves or the water movements. I'll just keep silent for five seconds. Five seconds. Okay. So uh, let's have a play here and see what happens next. Okay, so I'm black, uh, 2086. Uh, rating doesn't really matter much here to me. And uh, let's just get this thing out of the way. Excuse me. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I think I'll uh, make my webcam a little bit bigger so you can see me. Okay, so let's play the Durian Defense. Uh, this is my invention. Um, I don't think I can say that I'm happy to say it's my invention because uh, it's given me mixed results something close to 50% wins and 50% losses so nevertheless yeah. it's okay for blitz games I suppose in my case I would be crazy enough to play it in a, in a rapid game as well so let's just uh, go ahead and see what happens next Maybe I'll just uh, make this thing a little bit aesthetically pleasing to my eyes and let's put it somewhere center like that. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, and I'm just going to annotate this game so you have, you have a feel of how the, uh, the how this uh, new interface, you're either going to love it or hate it. Uh, so for me, I, I kind of, I'm loving it because uh, the movement of the waters doesn't really distract me fact I think it sort of enhances the game it uh, gives it a whole new dimension a kind of a 3d dimension to an otherwise 2d world of the 2, 2d chessboard okay so uh, what's my plan here who is it to say it's better to have a bad plan than no plan so I've got a really bad bishop here and actually I should have tried to uh, you know I should try to exchange it exchange it uh, this way but now this bishops kind of locked so uh, I don't have the c5 square putting pressure on the d4 square anymore. Uh, nevertheless, maybe I'll try for some pawn break here on this side. So let's go this way. And maybe I can 
in the long run I can bring my bishop around this way so that's my plan call it a bad plan uh, better than no plan right as long as the bad plan doesn't lead you to mate mate against you I mean okay what about his plans uh, well he's probably going to try to push on the queen side so I'm going to get my king to safety and then that's the idea this way this way push pawn push pawn okay so many moves and probably I don't even have time for that but we'll see how it goes now I've got this to gain some time but before that let's just uh, if I do that what happens when the knight comes in if the knight comes in I don't have time to do this anymore right uh, so okay never mind I will still go ahead with it okay so preparing that and that and that maybe rook here was better followed by rook g7 just gotta watch out for this pawn as long as this bishop protects this uh, pawn I think I'm okay okay here we go king steps out of the way rook here so I've got one I've got I'm sorry I've got uh, one two three four pieces guarding this square he's got attacking he's got how many pieces one two and three pieces attacking it but before that I need to just push this pawn here maybe prepare by moving rook to g uh, g7 as well uh, do I have time for that pawn push pawn takes pawn takes yeah I've got something there and uh, I've got three pieces protecting that so maybe this rook should be long here so at least I can keep an eye on the keep an eye on the second rank here yeah okay uh, so uh, talk a little bit about the tools that I used uh, well it's no secret and, and, I, and I cannot claim that uh, it's all my work because I'm just riding on the shoulders of giants here uh, oh, that's a big that's a major threat there okay so I got to push forward anyway uh, shoulders of giants because uh, there's a tool called pre-tier leeches and also leeches enhanced well in this case um, we're talking about chess.com right so we're talking about a program called stylish stylish which is part of uh, another website I forgot what the name is that contains a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, templates to customize leeches as well as chess.com so in this case uh, stylish has uh, allowed me to do this plus uh, quite a bit of knowledge well not quite a bit some knowledge of CSS cascading style sheets that allows me to put in the background because I can't find any information on the net uh, I'm sure it's there but it's not cleared up clearly exactly how to do it so uh, this morning I actually managed to this morning I actually managed to uh, what shall we say uh, customize the chest to put the animated background so now I've done the same thing for chess.com and slightly different coding as far as uh, stylish goes so now uh, if I push the pawn this bishop goes back it's got a slight square bishop covering these squares here so I gotta keep things fluid and then I gotta prepare for this threat here so maybe I can uh, what am I gonna do I don't have much time left but if I push this and then if I push forward then this pawn is only guarded by the queen so I think I will just yeah, I was also guarded by the bishop actually. Uh, so what I do right now is putting pressure on c6 square, but I don't think there's much there. Um, <coughs> the other way is that if he gets rid of my uh, light square bishop, then I'm just happy. So I'm going to develop the bishop and try to bring the rook out, possibly to uh, possibly to here. Now he's got his eye on these two pawns, so this rook, this, this pawn's under threat right now. Uh, can I whack that, whack that pawn off, whack that knight off? And then just concentrate on the queen's queen side. Bring my heavy pieces here, here, and here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then as long as uh, okay, let's just go for it. Okay. So now this pawn is no longer molested. Neither is this pawn being attacked. So now I'm just gonna. My plan is to uh, pile up the pressure on the on the king side. And I don't think he can do much here. Well, he has this uh, sacrifice pseudo sacrifice uh, and that would mean that this this knight is going to be left hanging so I've got to be careful of, of that 
and maybe not yet move this rook. So just keep these two, two um, pieces guarding the queen side while I try to make something out of the three pieces and the two pawns here. Okay, so I only got 34 seconds, uh, such as the perils of uh, streaming and and doing all this at the same time. Okay, so let's go for, okay, time, 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 time. Okay, so now I'm going to try for this. Put some pressure on that. Okay, now he's feeling the heat, but I've only got 26 seconds left. Uh, okay, now he's managed to do that. Uh, what I do right now? Okay, let's let's keep this. Now he's got that there. But then I've got bishop takes. Then he's going to lose the exchange. But still, um, time is not on my side. Uh, right, here we go. Okay, never mind. Let's try to not double my pawns. And now I've got... Uh, uh, okay, let's do that. So 14 seconds is not, not very good. Not good at all. I don't really have an attack, do I? Don't really have an attack. So uh, I doubt if I'm going to survive this, but at least it serves a base of uh, what I've been trying to do, which is to make uh, make for a different experience of playing chess.com on chess.com. So what, what chances do I have here? Uh, okay, let's just try just try for that. Actually, this rook should probably belong on the F file. Uh, or I'll try to bulldoze my way right through here then. Maybe sack the spawn here. Yeah, but i got to be careful with this rook here. And this is poorly, not not doing much. So what, what do I do right now? Eek. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for broke. Uh... Well, two more seconds. Uh, nah, this is it. Time's up. Okay, so um, didn't didn't do a good job there. And GG to my opponent, uh, up to box, up to box. I uh, just want to show you a few more things about this uh, this animated background. What happens if you go to the puzzles? Uh, let's just try puzzle rush right now. Let's have a quick look at this. As you can see, the background still uh, remains, so uh, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. So let me just uh, move this aside. Uh, I'm not the star of this thing. Um, uh, rats. Okay, let's, let's push myself to some obscure corner there, right there. And uh, as you can see, uh, we've got this in a bit of background once again. So just imagine the possibilities, right? Uh, imagine the possibilities that, uh, let's say you're a Star Wars fan or, or maybe a Lord of the Rings fan. And so you could put a uh, static background or a animated background. Uh, of your fancy. So in other words, uh, hold on a second, how is this a win? It's a free piece there, right? Okay, grab it. So, so you could uh, put the genre, the genre that you're interested in, and it could be uh, in the field of animation or, or entertainment, and uh, what? Hold on a second, where am I going up? Uh, I'm supposed to go up, isn't it? He's going down, I'm going up, so okay, on push. Yeah, so let's say you like cars, and therefore you could put an animated uh, GIF of, of a car, Ferrari, etc., uh, Lamborghini, yeah, or maybe you like aeroplanes or flight simulators. And so basically, uh, you could just uh, put a background there, and, and as you're enjoying chess, you also have other pursuits, and therefore you could also uh, enjoy them. Is there a mate here? Is there a mate here? Probably a check first, yeah. Check, and that's a mate there. Yeah, so you could put your area of interest, uh, the wallpaper that's related to the area of interest, and uh, it's double enjoyment for you because you get to enjoy uh, what you normally enjoy outside of chess in chess.com or even on uh, on early chess. So basically, that's that's the whole uh, that's the whole idea that I have, which is to uh, widen your just basically uh, like a fan fan based uh, add on to what's already existing. Yeah, and uh, uh, once again, you know, uh, you, you could try to choose the uh, the chess pieces that best suit to the environment. I can't set it right now. Uh, right now, right now, I'm using glass because I think that's what Hikaru chooses. I think it's either glass or cloth or some other lords lords. I think, yeah. And is that a free piece? Yeah. Okay. 
So you could also uh, choose the uh, chess piece that you like. And in my case, I, I do tend to go for uh, some offbeat, um, offbeat designs. For example, uh, uh, I, I do uh, have a little liking for the red pieces, and that would mean that uh, it would be probably like neon. Neons really are outrageous, and it's kind of uh, uh, it's kind of what do you call it? Uh, radical. I think it's radical. How do I get back? Hit the back button. Uh, uh, just go back to Puzzle Rush, I suppose. Bleh. Okay. So, anyway. Um, yeah, okay. Resumes. So, as you can see, uh, is there a mate here? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, again, it all depends on the, the environment, and uh, this might be off putting for some because it's so garish. But for, you know, one man's meat is another man's poison. And, uh, you never know the type of uh, uh, chess piece that you select. You could set the mood for your stream if you're streaming. And uh, if you're streaming, you can also customize your background for different streams to suit the occasion. Maybe you've uh, just been made Twitch affiliate or Twitch partner and you want to celebrate. So, or uh, maybe it, it, it's your birthday, you know, so you could put some special, some uh, animated background or, or something like that. Um, that, that's related to uh, your birthday or something that's personal to you that's your, your own uh, your own um, something that you're enthusiastic about yeah okay so basically uh, that's all I have uh, for now and uh, I will try to look at uh, what other things that uh, um, I can inject some kind of artistic um, artistic element into it because to me uh, this is um, in a way, something like TED, technology, entertainment, and design. That's the design aspect here. It's very aesthetic, I think. Uh, will I get bored with it? Yeah, I guess I would. But in the meantime, uh, I really like the 3D look. And uh, the many, many wallpapers that uh, that we have that are more than just time. This is a time puzzle rush. There are more than just uh, about water itself. It could be any type of checkmate any type of uh, uh, animation that, that will su suit you, yeah? Okay, so uh, I couldn't find anything on the net that tells, tells me how to do this um, and how to get it across all the screens. It's not too difficult and uh, for the time being I will leave it as that just to tell you what I've done, how do you do it, how did I do it. Uh, I, I, I think I'll reveal it at a proper time and uh, who knows, uh, we'll see how it goes from there, yeah? Because I won't see how, how far I can take it and uh, let's see what other uh, goodies uh, I, can, I can pull out of the bag. But I'm sure that uh, anyone with the, uh, with the necessary CSS skills and uh, by using the existing tools that you can find in the description, I've been quite uh, liberal with that and generous to share with you all the tools that I use. Uh, some of the code at the moment, it's it's uh, my own code that I cooked up, but uh, there's no big surprise there. If you're a student of computer science or you know a little bit of CSS, I think you should be able to figure it out as well, making use of the resources that uh, and the tools that the existing web browsers like Chrome and Firefox provide you to examine the code of these websites. So um, lastly, I want to say thank you for to Chess.com for a wonderful uh, platform and a real enjoyment is given me uh, as well as millions of uh, users everywhere same for VChess but this video right now is on, on chess.com so uh, thank you to Danny Ranch and everyone else at chess.com for the uh, boffins uh, for Pond Grub, Grubber the AI director and uh, if any of you are designers and you like what I'm doing maybe you can leave um, some comments uh, you want to subscribe to my channel um, I don't have any subscribers, but it, it's okay, you know, I, I'm just uh, doing this for fun. And uh, I really uh, enjoy uh, bringing enjoyment to others. If, it, if it's something that pleases you and, and you're happy with what I've done and you would like to have that also for your own, uh, for your own screens, then, uh, you know, do contact me. And I'm, I'm glad that uh, you're watching this. Okay, so thank you everyone. And I'm going to sign off. I'm going to sign off right now. So this is Frankie Kam. 
aka Turin Defense. And I hope to catch you one day on my stream when I start streaming. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Adios. Selamat malam. Good night in Malay.